The Akiti state government has unveiled plans to call for the repatriation of all the artistic works of the world-renowned wood sculptor Leito Lowe back to Akiti. Governor Oyebanji made this known at the home of the sculptor at his Akiti, where he promised to establish a museum in honor and memory of the deceased. Governor Oyebanji said a committee would be set up by the government community, representatives, and family to work on modalities on how to achieve the plan. Olowe oh, Obise was a masterful artist who created exquisite carvings for kings and palaces, leaving a lasting impression on those who were fortunate enough to witness his talent. It is truly a shame that despite Olowe's incredible skill, he is not as widely recognized in his own country as he is abroad. Many of his most magnificent works reside in other countries with very few, if any, available in his own town of Ise or his home state of Ekiti. Today, as we embark on the rehabilitation of Olowe of Ise, we have the opportunity to not only preserve and celebrate his legacy, but also to bring greater awareness to his works within Nigeria. Olowe's cabins a testament to the rich cultural heritage and artistic excellence of our nation. And it is only right that we ensure its contributions are properly acknowledged and celebrated. Now do the narrative of Ikiti is to continue to send out to the world very positive news, very positive stories, very positive ideas about our state. It takes a man of intellect and a man who has the love of the state to, to hear about an idea and run with it. And we must thank the governor for what he has done now. If it's another governor, it could take five years, you could be telling him, he may not accept it. He may not see the beauty of it. But just the moment we mentioned it to him, he said, no, this is great, we must do it. And he has taken the first step today, and we believe that we are going to achieve a lot through this uh, effort we are putting in place.